We are back to my Victoria 2 Lyon playthrough as it's 1935, the final episode. As in the last episode, I attacked Portugal, took Angola from them, helped the Netherlands took over Sunda Islands. We helped Persia take over Kashmir from Punjab. And America's busy kicking the British ass in the fifth American Independence War. Well, actually, now they're losing. It was minus 15, now it's minus 12. So, wondering what's going on with America right now in that regard. As like I said, the last episode of my industry slowly starts to build back up from the laissez-faire collapse it did a few years ago. God, I can only hope though it's going to go back up to the 800 and higher before the end of the game because I'm sure my in my um, score is probably collapsed from the 2,700 score was earlier in the game. Yeah, it's less than I'm doing off math on top, on top of my head most likely. It's most likely less than it was then. Ugh. Man, I almost I could be at, if I had my score back, I'd be almost three thousand points right now, which sucks ass. As like I said, can't really do anything right now. Let's just sit back and just wait for the year to end, to finally end this playthrough after like a year or so of it being done. As this was my first playthrough of a custom country. Remember, I got my Maryland playthrough I'm doing. I got my Bukhar playthrough I've been doing just as long. My first EU4 convert. And of course, I'm going to do another EU4 um, playthrough coming up very soon. Because remember, I did a poll like a week or so ago asking people for the next um, game I should play either as the British, French, or Germans. And last I checked, the British were overwhelmingly dominating the poll. So it looks like that might be it, but we'll see because that will be the next playthrough after I'm done with this one, of course. But I think I might do some more of my um, Bukhara game. Maybe do another episode of my Maryland game before we finally get to the British one. Or whatever the Great Power one is. Like I said, I, like I've been saying for years now, I'm going to do a playthrough on YouTube at least once for all the Great Powers. I've done Russia, I've done Turkey twice, I've done Austria, I've done America, I've done Spain. The only ones that I have not done yet was the British, French, and Germans. Although I did play Super Germany as my Austria game, remember, I never got the finish. So... That's the likely scenarios of the next free doing. I've got to find out what play, um, mod I might be doing too. Which I think I actually might know what the next mod I might do for the next great power game, but we'll see. Uh, let's just sit back and wait. Like I said, nothing else I can do right now. I have too much infamy. And honestly, even if I did try to attack anyone right now, regardless of infamy, I most likely wouldn't even have enough time to get the Kaza Belly and then win the war. That most likely is gone by now as America still occupies all of Canada. America, if you were smart, you'd add on taking this Canadian territory away. Because you'd get that tick and you'd win the war, but you're being stupid. Which I guess is not much to expect from American AI or ally in general. Alright, as we're now in June. Uh, well, I'm not going to be fighting most likely, so I'll take the infamy boost. As my industry thankfully continues to go back up, almost 500 now. Although, like I said, it would be nice to get up to the um, 800 it was at the start before it just died on me. I can't build any new troops right now. Let's see about naval base. Can I build any more? That one's probably not going to be done. Well, I can work on this even though there's no point because it's not going to be done in time, but I'm still going to do it. Alright, got a new tech unlocked. So good for me. I pressed on the political map! Christ! You stupid! As we're just watching America continue to occupy Canada. As I have no idea why the British decided to do that. We knew America was going to win that one. I just didn't want to get involved in the war because I would be the one that suffers, not America. That's definitely a nice looking America, that's for sure. Alright, as we're now in September, maybe I can lower taxes. I didn't want it to lower that much. Come on, but I think it's not going to matter. I think I'm, I'm going to still have money before the end of the game. So I think I'll just keep it that low for right now and just take the losses. So it's not going to hurt me um, anyway in terms of score. Alright, 500 points. Yeah, this last year now, industry's really starting to prop back up, but it's got a long way to go to hit my peak of like 1932 or so of 803. 
Got a long way to go for that. If America's third power, I'm second in terms of military score, then who's number one? China, okay. Oh my god, I'm British, I mean, I'm Austria's industry score is gigantic, but their army is so god awful. Wow. Want cancel? Alright, two more months to go. As we're nearing the end of this year long playthrough, it was nice to do this series. It has like a little um, holdover before my Bukhara game had its problems fixed. And it was nice to be able to do a game as a custom country for once, something I wanted to do. Especially this mean country of Leonian. Because remember, that province in um, Ethiopia looks like a lion rested. That's where I got the reference from. That province right here. The way it's shaped like a lion open its mouth on alert on a perch. Alright, here we go. The final bump. Just sitting back and waiting. Hey, America got model colony. Good for them. Would be nice if I had though for the extra prestige. Might have given me enough um, research points to unlock um, electric furnace. I doubt it though, but it could have maybe gotten close. Would be nice if I get the 800, I mean 18 million pops. But I doubt that. All right, let's start slowing you down. As I'm going to stop at December 31st before we get to the end of the game. Oh, great. Rebels pop up. That's not good. All right, and here we go. All right, so that's going to wrap up this series. So, yeah, the Leon, um, Kingdom of Leon. Let's start off as here. Remember the lore is it was a French colony that was given somewhat autonomy. I managed to westernize, become a secondary power quick enough just barely to get involved in the scramble. I took a nice bit. I became a great power temporarily, and I lost it, and then I managed to get back in it only because I built up a shit ton of naval vessels in order to over, I mean, get, be a great power just barely. And I took over all the coastline, pretty much of the Arabian Peninsula, took over um, Kalat, I took over Cuba, and I took over Brunei, I mean, yeah, Brunei, and Taiwan and Fujian, or whatever it is, for China. And that was a fun game. And I hope to get back to it eventually very soon. I mean, I'm, and, I mean, oh, that's right, Albania too. I took that over and, um, since I, I mean, I'm Suez Canal. All right, so let's wrap this series up. All right, so here we go as I'm going to check this really quickly. See my brick ship. Let me in 109. All right, so... There we go, the final results page. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed this series. You see my score just barely. Wow, Japan, not a great power. That's a very rare sight. So as I just edged them out. All right, then, so that'll wrap up the series. Here's the final scores. And here is the map. Hopefully I can get it back up again so I can check it. So see you guys next time to wrap up this playthrough. And see you soon for the next great power play for either the British, French, or Germans. We'll see. See you guys then.